I mean, obviously with 3D printing, you actually get a physical model out of it. You can actually feel it, move it around, you know, actually look at it in a perspective that you wouldn't be able to necessarily see like on paper. I'm Paul Wilson. I'm a senior at Grand Valley State University. I'm the team leader at the Atomic Object Technology Showcase at the MIP Library in Allendale. GB Magazine came to uh, the Technology Showcase with the idea of building like a 3D map. So we'd have like the other buildings that are down there, but then focus primarily on the Grand Valley buildings. They pretty much gave me all the blueprints and necessary renderings that I needed to recreate the buildings. It's about 40 to 50 hours worth of time to redo all of the the buildings completely from from scratch from like the rendering, but um, I think they turned out pretty well. We knew we wanted to show a map of the Medical Mile area for this feature. It's kind of hard for a lot of people to pick, picture where the new building is going. My name is Christine O'Brien. I'm a senior graphic designer at Institutional Marketing here at Grand Valley. We wanted to do it in a little bit of a different way because um, it was such a special feature and we're so excited about the new buildings. We kind of came up with the idea to do a 3D map. There's Raleigh J. Finkelstein Hall. I just think it's important to show people um, where the buildings are located in the context of Medical Mile and in proximity to each other so you can really get an idea that this is an expanding campus and not just, um, not just about one building. The reason we chose the building sizes, like, because of these, we wanted them to be set back a bit so that the focus really could be on the Grand Valley buildings so that you could see where the new building is in um, proximity to the Cook DeVos Center for Health Sciences building and also the other Medical Mile buildings.